Good morning, YouTube. Uh, today is the 21st day of uh, our lockdown, or when we started to kind of lock down things. Um, so, <laughs> I've had one emergency call out, and I've had three days of work. This week uh, seems to have more, uh, what can I say, more uniform sort of, of a structure. Uh, I have a list of things that need to get repaired or sorted or, or looked at and um, it's really quite hard. I mean the three days of work that I have had were our days were more like uh, pottering days so we kind of like went in did a bit uh, if we started the next bit then it would cause us more trouble and we'd be there a lot of time and we just lost heart in what we were doing uh, although working is what I do I, I'm if I start something, I want to finish it. I will sort of skip lunch, <coughs> work seven till six uh, if I have to, uh, to get that job done, crossed off, finito. Uh, but with um, this, it's kind of like you start and then you just can't really get going. You're slow, sluggish, and it's really, 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 really hard. I mean, it's, it's the same at home. Um, I have a list of jobs to do. I have a list of things that I can do with the materials I have but it's a case of I start and I really can't get going and I procrastinate and uh, kind of like just can't really get into the whole swing of things so this week might mark a change in the whole um, lockdown type thing so we've got apparently another three weeks added on top it's going to be taxing what um, and I've kind of survived this far by being quiet and ignoring the news and, and stuff. I mean, day by day, I started off by uh, watching all the updates, seeing how many people died, how many new cases. Um, but I just really can't make head nor tail of it because um, they're not showing us how many people have actually recovered in the UK. It's just stayed at 238. So if you if, if you just take a quick glance, you think that everyone that's getting it is. Uh, well, you know, not surviving. Uh, so, I am off uh, to a job. I got the, apparently there's some pallets on the ceiling that need some lights put on in a shop, uh, but they haven't got the Jubilee clips, so I'm meant to bring cable ties. I haven't got cable ties, so I'm taking some uh, galvanised steel wire, and hopefully that will be just fine for now until the Jubilee clips turn up. Um, yeah. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and the colour's gone funny on my camera again. I don't think I've ever seen the high street so clear. So basically today is shop work and shop work isn't too bad because you can get in you can work without actually being in anyone's way you'll see behind me there is something on the ceiling my thumb is in the way and we can have a look and see what we're doing if that makes any sense whatsoever Two pallets are being installed on the ceiling, one on either side, one with three lights, one with two lights, replacing some existing spotlights and ripping them out, rewiring as necessary. Uh, they're funny little lights they are. Basically lampshade pendants, but the trouble is the flexes always come too long. So I'm taking that and dropping them down to 34 centimeters, re-terminating the flexes getting rid of these horrible little connections are the bane of my life tiddly little brass connections you never get a single cable in. well we can but it's just a pain in the back side um, shortening them down as best we can and there's going to be some sort of foliage hanging from them afterwards to give a nice decorative effect something a bit like this they don't look too bad, I quite like it. I present to you the humble British, great British, tradesman's snack. 
First up, the mug of tea. Second up, the humble cheese and beetroot sandwich. Oh yeah. Everybody who sits or goes to McDonald's or Subway for their lunch is probably learning the art of sandwich making right now. Mm. Here we have it. The camera doesn't quite like the uh, LED lights, the bulbs inside, the lamps, yeah, yeah. But it certainly does have an effect. In the grand scheme of things, it wasn't too bad a job, but it was shop electric, so it was junction boxes and open connections all above the ceiling. I did actually get bit by one cable, which was cut but live, it made my elbow sting. Um, yeah, ow. Should have got a shot of that and proved it was live, but made it made it safe. Anyway, so um, hopefully the time lapse comes out. Camera angles are my enemy. Um, first day back at work, five hours work, I guess. Um, nothing else to do now. For now, nothing, nothing whatsoever. Nothing's come in. 
no one wants this. I'll be interested to know what you, if you're still at work and what, where you work. Are you self-employed, employed? Are you an essential worker? Would you call my job today unessential and possibly uh, risking life and limb uh, doing a job when I don't have to? Is that unessential? Is it essential to work for some people for their mental health? I don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's nice to get out there again. Have you got health problems and, and you're forced to go to work? I, I know of a friend that's uh, diabetic, given 12 weeks leave and then called back in because he's essential staff. Uh, it, you know, in amongst other members of staff that could possibly have something that he could get. It's uh, one of those uh, catch-22 situations. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.